A very good morning, my dear student. We have already done lesson number one, that is computer and electronic device in part one and in part two. Now, in part three, we will do book exercise, question answers, extra question answers, and full forms of this chapter. And children, you have to maintain your notebook side by side. Now, on page number 10, we have book exercise for lesson number 1. Children, first there are some statements written and after each statement, you can see two boxes over there. One is for agree and other one is for disagree. What you have to do is, you have to read the statement first and then tick on one of the given boxes. Okay, if you are agree with the statement, if you think that the statement which is written is correct, then tick the first one, first box. And if you disagree with it, then tick the second one. Just look at the screen. I have done the first one for you. What is first one? I know that the computer is a is an electronic machine. So I agree with this statement. This statement is correct. So I tick the box under agree, the first one. In that way, you have to do all other points by yourself. Okay, children. So this is your homework. Next is tick the correct answer. You have to tick the correct answer. A computer is an dash device that does million of, millions of tasks in a second. Manual, electronic, electrical. So you will tick electronic. Children, don't get confused between electronic and electrical. The correct answer is electronic. B, electronic. Second, physical components of a computer that can be touched are the physical components which we can touch are hardware. It is not software. It is not C, both A and B. It is B. Hardware. The meaningful and organized form of data is information. A. Information. Dash does not have feelings. B. Computer. After that, B. On page number 11, filling the blanks. After processing, the computer shows the final result as on dash. There is written on. You have to write an. It is an. A-N. An output. So, some of the alphabets which are missing, you have to fill those alphabets. O, T, U. A set of instruction is known as software. S, F, W, R. A computer is capable of performing many tasks automatically. A, T, M, T, C, L, L. The improper and prolonged use of computer can result in many Health issues. H A T S U S. Dash can affect your computer without your knowledge. V R S. Virus. Okay, children. Do it correctly. 
नेक्स्ट इज सी पार्ट राइट टी फॉर ट्रू एंड एफ फॉर फॉल्स यू के नॉट टच हार्डवेयर फॉल्स दैट इज एफ एम एस पेंट इज अ सॉफ्टवेयर ट्रू टी मैन नेवर गेट्स टायर्ड फॉल्स अ कंप्यूटर वर्क ऑन आई पी ओ साइकिल ट्रू now next is d part answer the following question but we have to do the question answers in notebook so first we will finish with the book exercise then we move to the question answer now in book exercise there is one part on the next page that is page number 12 e part application based questions you are studying in computer you are studying computer your sister megha ask you that if you can tell her any one difference between computer and man so you can easily differentiate between man and a computer i have written computer does not have feelings then i put a margin in between and on the other side i have written man has feeling so computer does not have feeling but man has feeling so we are done with book exercise now now let's move to our question answers this you have to do in your notebooks copies very neatly so the first question is what is a computer answer computer is an electronic device second question is state the difference between a man and a computer so i put a margin in between still and you also have to do in the same way put a margin in between and one side you have to write man and on the side you have to write computer then on man side you can write first point can make mistakes and on computer side first point does not make mistake on man side has feelings on computer side does not have feelings okay next third question is on which principle does a computer work answer on the following principle input process output fourth question is write any two disadvantages of computer wasted waste of time second one is health issue now some extra questions first is how can computer work better than man computers work better as they work faster than man you can write your own answer as well you can write that like computer work better than man as they never make any mistakes they never get tired like that that is also correct differentiate between hardware and software hardware again if there is a different difference then you have to put a margin uh, the, the line in between the page and then you have to write the difference on hardware side all the physical parts of a computer that is hardware and software is it is a set of instructions okay children the next is full forms this is very important i p o and c p u children you have to write ipo and cpu the short form in capital letters in the full form of ipo input process output and for cpu central processing unit so children we are done with lesson number 1 in this lesson 
we understand comparison between man and computer working of computer advantages and disadvantages of computer right so we have all we also done the book exercise question answers extra question answers full form so children what you have to do after writing this neatly in your notebooks you have to learn it learn the book exercise as well as the question answers full form extra question answers okay children now we have done working of computer which is based on which cycle ipo cycle ipo ipo is very important so for better understanding just watch one video related to it hello children i am a computer i can work for you but i cannot work on my own one of the major difference between me and you is that i need instructions to work and you work on your own working of computer let's discuss working of the computer different parts of a computer perform different work the working of a computer can be defined by these three steps input an input device like keyboard and mouse provides instructions to the computer process it is then processed by cpu output finally the output is displayed on monitor let us first understand input process and output by these examples one brushing your teeth by this example we can understand input process and output here brush and toothpaste are our input we are brushing the teeth as a set process now clean teeth are our output 2 washing clothes in a washing machine in this example dirty clothes and washing powder are our input we are washing the clothes as a set process now clean clothes are our output 